Miami Dolphins tight end, Mike Gesicki, is likely heading to free agency next month and really the only question is where will he go, Gesicki is expected to get paid a lot of money and he should. While he may not be the best blocking tight end in the NFL, he is one of the best pass-catching tight ends in the league. Easily capable of putting up nearly 800 yards a season if used right, Gesicki should be a popular player that is chased this offseason, Gesicki leads the class of 2023 tight ends in terms of pass-catching ability. Followed by guys like Dalton Schultz, Foster Moreau, and Irv Smith. Beyond those, there are a few names that will draw interest, even Ingram and OJ Howard but Gesicki will be a prime target for teams looking to add a weapon on offense, Miami could re-sign Gesicki and if they did, fans might wonder why. Last year, Gesicki was hardly used as an offensive weapon and didn't seem to fit Mike McDaniel's offense. It would be surprising if Miami invested the money in Gesicki unless they have the plan to use him more going forward. Dolphins fans have to expect Gesicki to leave and the question many are asking is a simple one. Where will Gesicki play after he leaves the Dolphins? Mike Gesicki could very well join the New England Patriots this offseason and it shouldn't be a surprise at all, the Patriots love tight ends and currently, they have Hunter Henry and Jonas Smith under contract. Henry is a good tight end but he hasn't truly lived up to what many thought he would be in New England's offense he has fared a lot better than the far more expensive Jonas Smith, Smith is the number 2 highest paid player on the Patriots roster in 2023 and Henry is the number 3. The difference is that the Patriots can release Henry and save just over $10 million in cap space. Smith on the other hand would save only $1.80 against a $19 million dead cap hit. Bill Belichick never really surprises anyone anymore with his off-season moves and Gesicki is a guy that can improve the talent of his offense. In fact, New England could simply keep both tight ends and move Gesicki into the slot and play him as a receiver. He is better than almost every WR currently on the Patriots roster. Still, the question is would New England pony up that kind of money for another tight end? That depends on what they see with Henry and Smith, specifically Henry. Last season, Smith caught 41 receptions for 509 yards and no touchdowns. Henry caught 31 for 362 and two touchdowns. Gesicki would be an upgrade in the passing game, another possible destination, Tennessee Titans, there are changes coming to the Titans in 2023 and Ryan Tannehill may not be in their future as trade speculation continues to grow. The Titans have six tight ends on the roster right now but several will be free agents. In 2018, both Mike Gesicki and Tannehill played together in Miami. Something worth keeping an eye on even if it unlikely.